Hey folks, welcome back to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carl, and we're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Fight for Select has released this about an hour ago. They have details on recent MLW departures. They said recently, Fightful reported that Dominic Greeny, his multi-year deal that he signed in 2019 actually extended into 2022, leaving him with a year remaining on his deal. That has already changed. As PW Insider reported, Garini and Kevin Koo, who are a team or were a team in MLW, uh, have procured their releases. Fightful has learned that creatively, MLW didn't have anything for Garini and Kevin Koo after Tom Lawler exited the company. They were a faction, in case you're not uh, familiar with MLW. In addition to Greeny's health issues that kept him sidelined, uh, since then, Greeny and Ku approached Major League Wrestling to procure their releases from the company, which we're told weren't actually effective until January 13th. But the release was agreed to in late December, and MLW has been fine with them pursuing other things in the interim. Inter interim. Uh, we're told that uh, the agreement is mutual between MLW and Violence is Forever, the name of uh, Greeny and Kevin Koo's team. And it doesn't appear that there is any ill will between the two sides. It was expected on MLW side that the two would appear on AEW's tapings in Cleveland in some capacity. Uh, Greeny and Koo were on exclusive paper appearance deals with Major League Wrestling. Uh, so those are the details on their departure. I'm a little confused as to why they couldn't find anything for Kevin Koo and Dominic Greeny um, to do in MLW. It's another tag team. I mean, you got 5150 who are the ML, uh, the MLW tag team champions. You got the Von Erics. You have uh, Los Parks um, as well. Kevin Koo and Dominic Greeny were, were a decent tag team. Uh, very surprising that they weren't able to find something for them to do once um, Tom Lawler left. I mean, they could have just put them on their own and let them be attacked. Unless, you know, Kevin Kuhn and Dominic Greeny uh, wanted to see what else, where, what else was out there. Uh, and I think they'll, uh, I don't think they'll uh, hook on with another promotion soon. I think they're, they're a decent tag team. I wouldn't mind seeing them. It says here that uh, they, they would appear um, in AEW tapings in Cleveland. Um, I'm not sure if that, uh, I'm trying to think if there were tapings in Cleveland or not, if that's in the future, or if that happened already, but uh, nonetheless, uh, MLW is a kind of expecting them to appear um, or had expected them to appear on AEW's taping in Cleveland in some capacity. I'd like to see Impact Wrestling uh, possibly take a chance. Uh, Lord knows they could use uh, another uh, another uh, decent tag team. Uh, and violence is forever. I know they're on the independent scene right now, uh, kind of tearing it up on the independent scene right now. Uh, but um, so they have it. That's um, details on Dominic Greeny and and um, Kevin Koo, Violence is Forever, uh, and their departure from in, from um, MLW, almost at Impact Wrestling, sorry about that, uh, from um, MLW. Uh, another bit of news here, actually, uh, Ian, uh, Ian Riccoboni will be returning um, on commentary uh, for Impact Wrestling on January 20th, and he's going to be calling the Jonathan Gresham, uh, Steve Macklin, Ring of Honor, uh, Ring of Honor World Title Match. So that's going to be very, uh, very cool. Um, Rick Abani and and Tom Hannafin have been just a tremendous team. Um, and man, I would love for them to bring in Ian Rick Abani full time. Uh, I think it would be fantastic. But Ian Rick Abani returning to uh, the mic uh, to play by play uh, with uh, Tom Hannafin to call Jonathan Gresham defending the Ring of Honor World uh, Title on January twentieth on Impact Wrestling against Steve Macklin. I, I, I know who wins that match, uh, and uh, I heard it's a fantastic, fantastic match. Not going to give away the, the winner, of course, uh, but I'm, I can't wait to see that one. So really cool that Ian Riccoboni is returning uh, to Impact Wrestling uh, on commentary, even if it's just for one match with uh, Tom Hannafin. Okay, so we're going to leave that there for now. I'm probably going to be back a little later today. I'm going to go live. I uh, want to talk about um, uh, Cody Rhodes and his uh free agency and um a lot of people think that he's going to be in the royal rumble uh but uh i'm going to talk about that i'm going to go live uh maybe about uh, 7 30 8 o'clock uh for about a half hour so um if you're available feel free to join me uh, but until then thank you very much take care bye bye and stay safe everyone so long bye bye